am I going? Yes, you're going. Okay. So this is a diamond blade, the scythe blade. Um, the best information I think is on scythe connection. Do you need, do you need to be closer so you can hear me? I don't know. You probably need to be closer. So oh, okay. My magic ears are not sure what the camera um, is reading. On the scythe connection, they talk about how to size yourself to them. When you get it from I think it's Scythe Works is the company that is the guy that runs Scythe Connection. His brother-in-law runs Scythe Works, if I remember correctly, and um, it's an Austrian blade. They're 50 years old. They don't make them like this anymore, so there's a limited number of them. It costs us $350 to get the full setup with the peening kit and the rock and the the little holster that the rock goes in and including shipping. So it was custom made to fit me because I'm the one that uses it. And again, the blades are, they're, they're not an antique blade because there's not been another owner, but they're older than our parents. <laughs> so um, I come out, when you're cutting alfalfa, unless you have a really thick stand of it, you need to cut it before it gets long because it'll actually lay down and then you can't get your blade under it to cut it. Um, I use this alfalfa as a mulch because I can't let the animals in here and the ground is so dry it needs the protection from the dry air and from the sun and so we're out we're gonna be out here scything for a minute you want to show me scything that... you don't want to show your face I know don't show my face <laughs> okay you can show my butt though right the best video on YouTube is one of the guy that does the scythe connection. His two daughters are scythe. And at one point she lights her scythe on fire and is like doing tricks with it. But it's really beautiful. I am not beautiful when I scythe. I just look like I'm out here weed whacking with a metal blade. Practical, not so graceful. So if you want to see the really beautiful video of that, go look up scythe and young girl in a white dress. And it's, it's elegant. And who it's knows what you'll find. True. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, so when you sharpen these, original first, they come already finished, but you need a peening kit, which thins the blade down and stretches it out because this is soft steel. Kind of serrates it, right? It doesn't serrate it, it actually draws it down. It makes this edge come down and be thinner and longer. This is how you sharpen it. It's just a stone and you have to have a special stone and it has to be wet. And you just sharpen it. Yeah, I sharpen mine about every three minutes and it's much more efficient than a weed whacker because you don't have the have to have earmuffs on, you don't have the smell, it's not heavy and um, it cuts thick and small. With my weed whacker I can't get through real heavy grass, it, it's better at sparse weeds. Um, if we used my husband's weed whacker I have a hard time starting it. So this is my preference. I really like this one. So it doesn't work real well on sparse vegetation. Um, it likes things to be nice and thick and compact to hold the stems up for, for ease of cutting. So. Um, and when you're doing it correctly, it's amazing how little energy it actually takes. Right, but you don't always do it correctly. And on yeah. different terrain... A lot of times you'll be fighting it. On different terrain, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut differently. Like here, I have to be careful about trees and water lines. So all I'm really trying to do is take down my um, is take down my alfalfa. So I'm in cramped quarters. I can't get a full swing. When you're doing a full swing, it looks all the way back, all the way forward. So that's how that's an efficient space. But what I'm doing in here. I'm having to hold the blade up with my elbows. It's not its not the swing of my body that's moving it, it's my arms. And so, it's its not poetry in motion when you're back here in these, in these cramped quarters. But it does a really good job. A weed whacker would have a hard time getting through this. And I am leaving spots that have longer grass so that the bugs still have somewhere to live. Because the bugs are what, see how this got too long? This got too long and now it's trying to lay down under its own weight. It's really hard to get your scythe under that. Do you want to back up a bit? It's when you need more like a chainsaw then. Well, so. even a chainsaw you don't want it digging into the dirt. That's right. the problem. You don't want your blade in the dirt. Yeah. 
Also, these things double as really cool uh, Halloween costume props. I'll never take this as a Halloween costume. It's a $400 <laughs> Halloween costume. Right. Oh, that's just a part of it. Then you have to get the robe. And they have different blades for the different things that you want to do with it. I got a semi-scrub. I didn't get a grass blade. And I didn't get an alfalfa blade. I got something that can handle more of the rugged woody weeds plus a little bit of grass. Yeah, so mostly, if I don't cut this alfalfa down, it'll continue to grow and we won't get any more cuttings. It'll just turn really weedy and woody. And I want to get multiple cuttings. And then the last one, whoops, he snaked a tree. Oh, the last one, party fell. The last one I'll let go to see so it'll reseed out here. Okay. Now, just so everybody kind of gets a grasp, she's just covered probably eh, 40, 50 square feet already. Well, I wouldn't say 50, maybe 40. Well, I started back In like six rows. Right, but since we started doing the video. And it is actually as fast as a weed whacker really is. It's much faster than a weed whacker when you're in this stuff. Not me and my weed whacker. Weed whacker, you go back and forth a little bit at a time like this. Although we did, the two of us, it. the two of us got both sides out. We mowed the back pasture in a few hours. 